A series of failings contributed to the death of a teenager who died following an allergic reaction at her home in North London. Today, a coroner at the inquest into 18-year-old Shante Toure Thomas ruled that she wouldn't have died had she received robust training in the use of life-saving treatment and that mistakes were made in how a call to the NHS 111 service was handled. The inquest was also told how an ambulance was sent to the wrong address. James Waterhouse reports. She wanted to be a lawyer. She would got into university. Just really determined, really funny. Just, you know, vibrant, really vibrant girl. Just, and I'm proud she's my, she'll always be my daughter. I'm proud she is. Um, I think my fight and my strength came from knowing that that's what she would do. Shante Toure Thomas, in the words of her mum. Emma Toure was with her when she fell ill after eating hazelnut in 2015. This inquest focused on the 111 call she'd then make, which took so long to realise what was wrong with her daughter. She made it at 11.01 in the evening after she said she felt ill. Despite mentioning her nut allergy, she was only transferred to a more senior advisor eight minutes later. It would be 13 minutes until they were told to use their auto-injector pen. By 20 minutes, she'd confirmed their address for a fourth time, all while Shante's condition got worse. She was heard on the phone saying, my chest hurts, my throat is closing, and I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'm going to die. By 11.37, she lost consciousness and then suffered a cardiac arrest. Paramedics arrived shortly afterwards at 11.50, 50 minutes after the call was made. She was pronounced dead later in hospital. It turned out one ambulance had even been sent to her grandmother's house six miles away. One of many failings picked up today by Coroner Mary Hassel, who ruled Shante would not have died if, and the list is long, whether she'd been given the right training about carrying two pens all the time, whether she'd been given the right dosage of adrenaline, whether the 111 call handler had followed the right procedure and recorded the right location, and whether NHS Digital categorised acute anaphylaxis in a more serious group. The local NHS 111 service told us it's identified learning at individual and organisational levels, as well as communication issues arising between us and the ambulance service. Immediate changes were implemented in our organisation, which have improved the sharing of critical information. We will take the recommendations from the coroner seriously. It's just unbearable. It's something that you don't know how you'll cope. James Waterhouse, BBC London. Well, let's speak to our reporter, Alpa Patel. And uh, Alpa, you've covered similar cases in the past. What lessons still need to be learned, do you think? Well, we heard it in James's report. Uh, Shante had not been given proper training on her life-saving medication. Not just that, but she was not carrying two pens. And this is something of an important message to anyone with a severe allergy. And uh, one case that uh, this uh, of frustration to this particular coroner, because she's ruled in previous cases, one of those cases was Karen Beachimas. And we're about to see a very disturbing uh, picture of him that was given to his by his mother to us before he died to give the public an awareness of what happens to you when you suffer anaphylaxis. And basically in this case, uh, the coroner said that there wasn't a second injector pen available to him and he needed that. Now we've been speaking to Dr. Adam Fox, uh, who is one of the leading allergy consultants in this country. This is what he had to say. There's been an enormous growth of the number of people carrying adrenaline auto-injectors over the last few years. Sadly, alongside them being prescribed far more often, what's not always happening is the proper training about when to use them and how to use them, which means they're not really offering the protection that, that patients may feel that they've got. The one message I'll be really keen to get out to patients is that you should always make sure that you're carrying your adre adrenaline injectors and that if there's any suspicion that you're having a severe reaction, just get on and use them. That's what they're there for. They're really safe. If you use it, if you didn't really need it, that's not a problem at all. There's no, no meaningful side effects that you need to worry about. But there is a problem with these pens, isn't there, in that the availability? Yeah, absolutely. It's all well and good to recommend carrying two injector pens, but there is a worldwide shortage of all three 
of these pens and that's alarming to people with severe allergies because the number of food allergies is going up in people we've covered it on this program before the numbers of children being hospitalized because of allergic reactions uh, has gone up by 65 percent in the past five years in england so the advice is to pay really close attention to the expiry date on your medication and leave plenty of time to order that medication when you need it okay Alpha, thanks very much